Needs a little more zing. Zing. Uh, Mustard seeds? Mustard seed check. Mm. Hey, here. Uh, so just so we're clear, you never actually had sex with Brenda? Juniper berries? It's worth a try. Come on, kid, don't leave me hanging. Okay, look, according to Brenda, we didn't have sex. Okay, I got drunk, I passed out, she climbed into bed with me. Just to get back on my mom. That's inspired. Yeah, I like it. I mean, you know, did the trick. There's a Carly-sized hole in the ceiling. Yeah, I really don't want to think about how bad this whole thing hurt my mom. So can we just, you know, get back to work? Right, we gotta focus. We've gotta perfect this relish if we're gonna have any chance of beating Tracy's. And I like this. Mm -hmm. And this. Mm -hmm. I like this. <laughs> Come on, Felicia, I'm a guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I talk oh. to you privately, Mac? Sure, Tracy, what can I do for you? Oh, it's not what you can do for me, it's what I can do for you. And that is? <laughs> Rock your world. Well? Come on, don't keep us in suspense. Zucchini, onions, carrots, cider vinegar and habaneros? It's quite a palette you got there. Yes, I know. Okay, uh, is it good? Yeah, I'm good. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's just not Piccolina. Back to the drawing board, Janice. Piccolina? The quarter main relish is making a comeback? Bigger and better than ever. <laughs> when can I stock up? Next, Scorpio. Felicia was a very smart woman to snap you up. <laughs> I am about to start filling orders, and I can offer you an exclusive deal if you just sign on the dotted line. All right. Oh. There you go. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, the, right pic the, the pickle lila trademark is nowhere on this contract. Mac, it's a legal document. It's not a coloring book. Just sign right there. Actually, sign. Actually, I don't see pickle lila anywhere mentioned anywhere, Tracy. What gives? Well, I, I actually, AJ and I had a little set to, and as it turns out, I own the recipe. But? But ALQ owns the name. Wait a minute. You're releasing Pickle Lila under another name? Not just any name, Mac. I give you Pickle Tracy. The original Pickle Lila had a secret ingredient. Yeah, it was originally found right here in Kelly's kitchen, right? The birthplace of Pickle Lila. Sean, come on. You're supposed to be a culinary genius. Can't you, can't you do something to help us out? I already tried once. A long time ago. It was on Paris Island. And the relish became an obsession. Yeah, sure, I reported for duty and did my job. I mean, no one was the wiser, but I couldn't sleep. At night, I was sneaking to the mess. Everything was pickle island. Nothing else mattered. The closer I got to figuring it out, and all the pickles and the spices, the closer was my breast to madness. Finally, my unit was deployed, and I had to leave the mystery behind, unsolved. Uh, what if you what if you could solve it? What if we give you another shot, you know, to, to overcome the obsession? Nah, I'm over it. Thanks. Wait, maybe if we can get it exactly right, we can get it close, right? I mean, uh, Molly said you make a mean sandwich that can curl Alexis's toes. Ah, uh, yes. My meat loaf, bon me. Uh, that makes her faint. What, what, what is in that bon me? It's a trade secret. Look, I'll, I'll pay you, all right? I mean, come on. I need an ingredient. I need any ingredient. Look, please, come on. I've got a guy on a mission right now, and I've got to be ready in a second's notice with that relish if he comes through. Tell me what the secret ingredient for your bon me is. If I told you, it wouldn't do you any good. Why not? This particular spice is indigenous to the Helmand River Valley in Afghanistan. I lucked up on it at a Kandahar spice market, and it's a bitch to export. Look, my buddies at Bagram, have to smuggle it out for me every month. You know, a favor for which I have to pay a significant premium, but it's worth it. If I didn't have that spice, Alexis would have my head. Okay, well, EOQ can get it out of Afghanistan. We can't import it directly. We can arrange to have it exported to a country we do have access to. We just need the name. I don't know. I don't know. What if we cut you in for the profits? I mean, think of it like a, a finder's fee for giving our relish that kick that it needs. Keep Alexis's toes curled with your meatloaf bon me for the rest of your lives. So what do you say, pal? You gonna join the relish renaissance or not? Uh, 
uh, pickle Tracy. And what's wrong with it? Well, for one thing, it doesn't alliterate. Listen, Tracy, pickle Lila. You know, there are three distinctive L sounds. It makes it sound like poetry. Pickle Tracy. Who cares about alliteration? It is the same great taste. Even if pickle Tracy tastes exactly like pickle Lila, without Lila's name and photo, it won't sell. How do you know? Look, people didn't buy it just because the relish tasted amazing. They bought it because Lila reminded them of their grandmother. You know, she was all warm and fuzzy. I am just as warm and fuzzy as my mother. Yeah, uh, right, uh, sorry, no deal. Mac, I want you to remember this day because when Pickle Tracy is a blockbuster and this place is faded into oblivion, I'm Ooh. gonna buy it. I'm gonna turn it into a parking lot. Oh, okay. All right, warm and fuzzy. Wow. Hello, Sean. Uh, okay, I don't want any trouble, all right? AJ will sue me if I so much put up a postcard advertising Pickle Lila. Well, Pickle Lila maybe, but not Pickle Tracy. Pickle what? Same great flavor, great new face. Pickle Tracy. Pickle Tracy is going to fill the void on the condiment aisle left by Pickle Lila. Ha <laughs> there's gonna be a void, cause Pickle Lila's back, baby. Sure to see my dad. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't bring back Pickle Lila. Well, let's see, EOQ owns Pickle Lila, and uh, I run EOQ, so yeah, I can. Uh, no, you can't. All you've got is my mother's face on a jar. You don't have the recipe. We, uh, reconstructed it. <sighs> Michael, you disappoint me, but then I guess it's spending too much time with AJ has leached what's left of your intelligence. So let me explain it to you. If you don't have the secret ingredient, your relish is nothing. Oh, we have a secret ingredient. Thanks to our new business partner, Sean. Hey, Tracy, you come in here and you create all kinds of chaos. But the fellas, on the other hand, they come in here and they create cuisine. You know, it just so happens we whipped up a, a fresh batch of our relish with the secret spice. Tracy, I would like you to taste your undoing. Uh, no, thank you. How do I know it's not poisoned? Okay. Oh, no, 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 not you. No, no, no. You're trained to ingest toxins. I want him to taste it. Gladly. Oh, God, that's good. Mm. Well, at least we know it's not toxic. <clears throat> it's not bad. She likes it, huh? It will never pass for Pickle Lila. Doesn't have to. All we have to do is slap a picture of grandmother on it, and no one's gonna know the difference. Oh, yeah, they'll know. We'll find out soon enough, but right now the plan is ready to go into full-blown production. But how are you going to afford that with ELQ's assets? Unfrozen? Yeah, word just came down. We're back in business. Hey, let me ask you something. How things going over at TAQ? Huh? You got a big factory ready to roll out Pickle Tracy? Got investors, capital ready to fund your big plans? How about an office? No? No, you got a fax machine, or mimeograph? No. You and Alice are not going to be able to win this little war out of Cook's Kitchen. You are going to need some help. And guess what? No one's riding to the rescue this time. AJ's right, I need capital. I need an ally, but who? Nobody in this state. Hey, that's mine. Keep it. Hello, Nicholas! Do you think we were a little too harsh with Tracy? Oh, come on. Don't start going soft on me now. Uh, just what you want, you know? I, th I think we could afford to be a, a little nicer, I guess. Look, here's the reality of the situation. The minute you aligned yourself with me, you made an enemy with Tracy. There's just no two ways about it. Hey, I just got off the phone with a buddy of mine from my old unit. Yeah. He says there's a market in Little Cabo that may have just about everything you need to get started with Pickle 2.0. I'm going to buy up everything they've got. I can use the help. I'll come. I've never been there. OK, good. I'll, uh, I'll finish cleaning up around here. Besides, there's someone else whose opinion I want on this. Who's that? Elizabeth Weber. Is she some kind of? Relish expert? Well, uh, something like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said too much. No, 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 you haven't. AJ, on the other hand. It, like, he's just being a guy. It, it, it's no big deal, really. Really? 
Well, I disagree. He can't go around telling my friends when they can or cannot interact with me. Elizabeth, it's not a big He's deal. He's not even my boyfriend. I went out with the guy like one time. He can't interfere with my relationship with you. Uh, damn right, sister. We need to tell him that. Yeah, we're having a private conversation here, so if you could, you know. Actually, it sounded like Elizabeth was mad as hell and she isn't going to take it anymore. And if it were me, I would march right over to Kelly's and give him a piece of my mind. He's at Kelly's? Yes, his uh, belly is right up to the counter. I believe he is working his way through the menu alphabetically. Whatever you do, don't eat his relish. Thank you. Nicholas, long time no see. Hi. Um, okay, I'll make you a deal, Tracy. We can cut right through the pleasantries, and I promise I will give you five minutes, five whole minutes of my undivided attention. All you have to do is walk right over there and grab those pants. Nicholas, can I do anything for you? Fluff up your pillow, sneak in some good food, uh, some pants? What do you want, Tracy? Okay, you're a rich man. I want to make you richer. Hey, I was just gonna call you. Come here, I want you to try something. What's, what's the matter? What do you think you are?